evening, Professor Gwendolyn Tennyson. Horace, great to hear from you. Did you receive the data package I sent you? Indeed I did. Your request for me to map a safe route to Tor Ledger Domain for your university's field trip next week has been approved. Thank you, Horace. You're really saving me a lot of time here. It's a lot easier having a droid test run the trip for me first so I can have time to grade all these papers. She also means you're more expendable. Then, what are you doing on this call? You're sending Horace to Ledger Domain, right? Well, the scare's back, and I'm trying to track him down. Last time I saw him, he was in command of an Alpha Rune. Until I know what he's up to, I have to cover all my bases. Horace, can you make sure to gather as much info on the Alpha Rune as you can while you're there? Sure thing, Commander Ben Tennyson. <laughs> it's just Ben. Anyways, I'm programming you with an enchanted algorithm I created. Time is out of sync with us in Ledger Domain, so we won't be able to contact you until you return. But Charmcaster should be waiting for you on the other side. Just remember to stay on course. It's easy to get lost and end up in the wrong crowd there. Good luck, little dude. I'm opening the door to anywhere now. See you in a little bit. Good evening, extranet and multi-dimensional travelers. Welcome back to and beyond, where we plunge into the void and explore our ever-expanding multiverse. I am your host, the R300 Orion IT Systems Model V522, but you can call me Horus. Today, we'll be trekking the most magically mysterious realm of the Inua Dimension, known as Ledger Domain. Please keep any accompanying rodentia stored within your designated headgear. We are not responsible for any disappearing acts. Welcome to the magical realm of Ledger Domain, a rifted energy pocket existing exclusively to the Inua Dimension. Ki, Chi, Chakra, Soul. The energy that makes up this pocket is known in many cultures by many names, but all are the same life energy that we refer to as mana. Mana can be found in all living things, but nowhere as abundant as here in the Domain's capital, the kingdom of any... Am I? Where am I? Oh, well, according to the map, it seems I am a bit off course and am currently in the forests of Zorister. But not to worry, we shall make haste on our way to the castle. Well, it seems as though I have no information on Zorister, so I will describe on the way. Um, it's very dark, um, heavily wooded, very overgrown, and cr creepy. I can hear something near me. <laughs> Tread these paths carefully, little one. Many a witless adventurer was taken by the forests. Oh, uh, thank you, um... I am called Caledrin, the guardian of Zorister. I protect these forests with diligence and care. Wow, Sornitho. It is quite dangerous in these thickets. What brings you, little one? Ah, yes. Uh, well, I'm on an educational survey. I was meant to arrive at the Kingdom of Anywhere, but the door took me here for some reason. I sense little mana within you, which has tangled your spell. Your lifeless aura concerned me that you might perish, but now I see that you are a machine. How peculiar. Well, I greatly appreciate the rescue, Caladrin, but I must be on my way. There's places to map and info to record and all that. You understand, right? Information? <laughs> you need not seek any further. I am the eldest of this domain, and I know everything about this forest. It's been some time since I've had company to share my knowledge with. Would you care for a tale? Ledger lore? Oh, yes, please. Excellent. <laughs> Let's start with its origin. 
Welcome to the land of Zorister, eldest of the realm. Territory to none but the wilds themselves. These thickets are home to the strongest mana-channeling beasts of the domain. There are those of my kin, the kindly Ethabis, but also many others, such as the raging Witherroots. There are only but a few dangers for adventurers foolish enough to enter, be it a search for riches or even a hunt. No matter the reason, those who enter Zorister of ill intent shall remain trapped here forever. Zorister was the first place created by the Domain, and along with it, their guards, imbued with a connection to the Domain's vastness, and with its power, they wrote the true names of all that exist in our universe. Each adroit in their hearts with great purpose, they lived united, birthing life in their image and imagination. To bring joy with their bountiful skills, they channeled this energy across worlds of many. The barren became filled with life, the sorrowful filled with joy. This united every world they touched in harmony, spreading tales of mystical paradise. Time passed, natives uncharted from the furthest of this realm heard tell of the Guardians. They were worshipped as gods, praying their power would be bestowed upon them in return. The Guardians respected their desire and passed knowledge and skills to these individuals, who would then pass their teachings to their own kind. However, this angered those who the Guardians refused this grace, feeling as though their praise was for naught. The envious chose to seek the power through their own way, drawing directly from the lands through machines. This artificial method was used to create tools, their true name forged within, to make them magic. Their years of wasted worship pushed them into this new, wrathful path, leading them to attack the Guardian of Terra Firma, the one called Zorister herself, from which these forests were named. Their calculated attack struck her and split the Grand Mountain, ending her reign with death. This enraged the guardian of the Greenwood with the urge. He loved Zorister dearly, and now with her life taken by these tyrants, he rampaged through lands, the underground consumed by his form. His roots traveled deep into the domain, sacrificing himself to protect what remained of Zorister's blessings, and keeping away the malicious mechanics. The spirit of Withyurge, never resting, always writhing, maintaining the peace. The few remaining guardians abandoned their unity, with their peace tarnished by these evil acts. They each sought their own path. Some searched for revenge, others wanted to escape conflict. I stand here alone, in hopes of protecting what remains of my altruistic friend. You claimed to be making a map? What course are you plotting for? Well, um, Miss Tennyson wanted me to re-establish her route. Gwendolyn! Oh, by all means, map away! Her and a few of her cohorts assisted me some time ago. Anything she needs is but a token of my debt to her. Oh, wonderful! Could you show me the way to the Kingdom of Anywhere? Of course. 
The safest path would be along the drifting crosswalks. If you travel this way, you should be there in a few hours. Just uh, be wary of mystical sinkholes. Their desire for mana tempts the weak-minded into their trap. You must protect what little mana you have. Of course, thank you so much for the route and for the history. I'll be on my way. Best regards to Gwendolyn and that uh, grabby cousin of hers. <laughs> Soup's on. Ow! Existential inhibitor. Existence incomprehensible. Oh, where am I? This isn't on my map. Well, 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 my mini meal ticket. You are in the fourth ring of Navato! Sorcerer cesspool? The underbelly of the domain? Come on, dude, being able to scare the piss out of people is half the fun of living in this dump. You're kind of ruining this for me. Oh, well, apologies. There's nothing in my records or Miss Tennyson's map mentioning a Navato. But I am recording a log for an educational survey if you'd like to inform me. You're lucky I'm bored, little man. But if it gives me something to do... I used to love putting on little shows. Now, prepare to be dazzled! This here's Navato, the dark market of the dark arts. We got a bunch of cities here, all floating around the sorcerer's engine. This is where the worst of the worst collect. Or as I like to call them, my customers. Hustling and bustling, buying and selling. If you need to make dough, this is the place. Lots of tinkerers here too, all competing to make the next big method to use mana. Although, a lot of these ways are kind of rough. So Navato was created to be a safe haven for paranormal progress. From curses to necromancy, this is your one-stop shop, so I hope you brought your wallet. It's also where a lot of freaks call home, folks who are into all kinds of weird shit. <laughs> they gather here for the sorcerer's engine. You see, because of its power, dabbling in dark magic has a tendency of mangling the mana of the caster. Everyone thinks they're tough until the dark magic catches up with them. If they aren't smart, the magic burns right through them. And if they survive that, they end up looking like the bottom of my ashtray. Yeah! So the engine and other tools were created to absorb mana to take the strain away from them. Amateurs. Some tools can do other things too, but those extra feats usually need special glyphs and such branded onto them. Casters that already screwed up their mana use them to refresh themselves. Although, they have to be careful. Booshing off the ample supply can make them depend on it, leaving their constitution super weak. Plus, if it gets worse, it stops helping them. They're left addicted to the stuff without any hope of healing. Their future children will be born with mana deficiency and an endless hunger for more. It's a curse, really, that crafts them from their birth. So, dark sorcerers are a technology-dependent species. Species? No, it's more like an occupation. We got freaks from all over the universe here. As long as they got the brains to learn magic, but not the smarts to make better life choices, they're pretty much one of us. 
My species is a Griezenim. My buddy Trek is Parpanthophage. Hell, we got a Yeti running the place, and before him was just a big turtle guy. Oh, you're referring to the Geoshalon area known as Adwecha, correct? Big shell and flaming head? Yep, that guy was a total douche. Story goes that one day he just showed up out of nowhere, preaching how he wanted to be a sorcerer, and was enlightening himself to the energy of the universe. Blah, 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 crazy old turtle crap. He was way in over his head, too. He barely knew how to harness mana, let alone cast a spell. So he only cast magic using items. Dude was soup without him. Eventually, he left Navato because he racked up a lot of debt from the items he bought and stole. <laughs> Everyone hated him. Couple years later, the dude somehow got his hands on an alpha rune and took over the whole damn domain. It was crazy. He was shouting, All mana belongs to me. You are all thieves. People started leaving, and those who stayed were drained or enslaved, but eventually I guess someone got the rune away from him, and no one has heard from him since the king took back her family's throne. Since his evaded capture five years ago, his whereabouts have been unknown, but with this new information, we should be more prepared if he ever resurfaces with ill intent. Oh, thank you, Miss, um... Curse Crafter, but call me Cece. Huh? Oh. Well, hello there, Mr. Emissary. <sighs> hello, Cece. Are you interested in a custom charm sleeve? How about a new helmet? The one you're wearing looks like a tight fit. Unless you like things that way. I need the robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're funny. Sorry, but he's not for sale. He's probably worth more than you. Oh. Pleasure doing business. Have a lovely day. No refunds. Yes! <laughs> I'm eating good tonight. All right, let's go. Living forests, mystic sinkholes, being treated like a bargaining chip. I am simply trying to map a course to the kingdom of anywhere. Yes, how did you- My king had notified me you were coming. When you didn't show up, I was sent to guide you. This is the kingdom of anywhere. Built at the center of Ledger Domain by our king after usurping the throne from an evil tyrant. We're a small city of about 6,000, but we're expecting to grow in a few generations from now. We are an educational society, teaching these people farming, building, and mystic arts of old. We're the only kingdom of this realm to have a forge to create new charms. Oh. Uh, such as the charms of Bazel, like you have here? What I have is a rune. What's the difference? Runes are used to store mana, like a magical battery. They can be used for anything. Charms, however, each have a special glyph designed to focus specific types of magic. You need to know the true name of things to bend them to your will, but for many, they use these charms instead to get around the rules. They'll work for anyone, even non-sorcerers, which is why we use them to teach magic. The first charms came from Bazel, a powerful wizard who founded one of the first mystical tribes to spread the use of magic across this realm and others. There are many kinds of runes too, all with varying stages of power, but they all cannot compare to the King's Stone, the Alpha Rune. My data indicates two other Alpha Runes on record. One serves as a piece of the Map of Infinity, stolen by the fugitive Agrigor. The other was destroyed by Lieutenant Hobble Gravel on Ener Transil. Isn't there only supposed to be one Alpha Rune? At any given time, yes. 
Alpha runes can only be created by an old one. It cannot be created unless the previous one was destroyed. They are a direct link between the sorcerer and the old one's power, giving the sorcerer the abilities of a guardian. It is said that the king struck a bargain with the old one of Zorister to grant them the power to revitalize our kingdom in promise that we protect the forest. Speaking of the king, we are here. My king, I've returned with the droid sent here by Gwendolyn Tennyson. He appears to have lost his way. Thank you, Michael. That'll be all. As you wish. So, you're the little drone that's supposed to make the map for Gwendolyn, right? That, that's correct. I am the R300 Orion IT Systems Model V522. Uh, but you, you can call me uh, Horace. But you've been doing more than that, haven't you? I can read your radio signals. You've been recording and broadcasting everything you've seen. Well, uh, apologies if I've invaded any privacy. <laughs> Don't be. This is the perfect opportunity to clear things up. I'm sure you've known that my uncle and I haven't had the best reputation back on Earth. But things are different now that I've become king. Um, shouldn't that be Queen of Ledger Doming? Ah, <sighs> there's a reason your realm is so far behind. Uh, let me tell you the story of my father, Spellbinder. Long ago, my father led the people of Ledger Domain with great care. He was kind, inspiring, and the bravest of us all. But our kingdom was small, and his people began to struggle. He ventured through the deadly forest of Zorister, not in search for hidden power, but for its guardian, pleading to the Old One for the power to keep his people safe. His compassionate spirit inspired the Old One to bestow upon him the Alpha Rune. Father returned to our kingdom with joy, giving our people a happy and healthy society. Years passed, and I was born and knew nothing but of the great life he gave us. Until Hedwicha. One day, my father went to visit his brother, my Uncle Hex, when he found a sorcerer pleading for help stranded in the deserts of Navato. He was dying from starvation. Father was reminded of his own struggles during the times before the Alpha Rune, and took him in. He cared for him, using healing spirits and potions to nurse him back to health. But one night, the Alpha Rune was stolen by Adwaitcha while Spellbinder slept, using it to drain my father's mana to the brink of death. Adwaitcha returned to our kingdom in my father's place and took control, where no one powerful enough to stop him. Some of us fled to other realms through gateways, but Adwaitcha learned of this and put a binding curse on our dimension. No one could enter or exit without his approval. My father and Uncle Hex rallied our remaining people, encouraging us to stick together, and became the protectors of our little rebellion. Spellbinder would not submit. My father expended all of his mana, creating a gate so powerful it broke through Adwaitcha's curse. He sacrificed his life to save us. I escaped with my uncle to Earth, to one day return and defeat Adwaitcha. I am now Ledger Domain's leader, bringing a new era to my people. A life my father once led. I'm sure that your father would be very proud. Thank you. Anyways, about that map you're making for Gwendolyn. This charm helps with spatial awareness. Wherever you travel in Ledger Domain, your map will magically update itself. All you have to do is continue on the right path. Well, thank you, King Charmcaster. Just make sure you're using the correct name when you return to the door. Now, I have other matters to attend to. You should be on your way, unless you want to be turned into a totem. Uh, on my way! <laughs> well, that was a lot. Both information and intimidation. Anyway, Ledger Domain. A magically mysterious and menacing place to live. But thankfully, we were just visiting. 
Make sure you plunge back into the void sometime and join me on another extra-dimensional exploration. This is Horus, signing out. Y'all are toxic! Oh, this doesn't seem correct. Um, Wadita! Ade, Due, and Bellum? Um, Azarath, Metreon, Synthos. Elimanta, and Fulu, Belaya. Aberration. Hello? Why is this not working? None of these tachyon readouts match my original universe. Losas, not air, expedive. <laughs>